More than 20 years ago in Redmond, five teens, including Barbara Thomas's own son, brutally killed the 52-year-old woman. They beat her with a bottle and shot her in the head. At the time, prosecutors told reporters the group had several ideas on how to kill her. The indictment alleges in one fashion electrocution, in another fashion uh, by injecting uh, Mrs. Thomas with a bleach. Canadian immigration officers arrested the teens the next day as they attempted to cross the border in the victim's car. All five faced nearly two dozen felony counts from aggravated murder to assault and robbery. At that time, Measure 11 imposed mandatory minimum sentences for serious crimes regardless of age. For aggravated murder, that meant a minimum of life in prison. We believe that all five of the individuals were uh, substantially responsible for the murder of Mrs. Thomas. And all five were convicted. But in 2019, the law changed. In Oregon, teenagers are no longer automatically charged as adults for Measure 11 crimes. So in 2021, Governor Kate Brown commuted their sentences along with many others, and parole became a possibility. Now, in 2023, two of those responsible for the Thomas murder are on the way out. Justin Link was the person who first suggested that the group of five murder Barbara Thomas, and ultimately he is the one who told his companions to finish the job and to kill Barbara Thomas. Justin Link, 17 at the time of the crime, now nearing 40, will be released Friday. I think it was the correct um, legal decision because the parole board was tasked with assessing whether or not Mr. Link has been rehabilitated. And I think there's no real question that he has been. After a parole board hearing last week, Seth Koch was also granted early release. He will get out of prison mid-June. As for the other three, Lucretia Carl was released in 2021. A parole board hearing is set for Ashley Summers next week. And Adam Thomas, who was 18 at the time of the murder, could be eligible for parole in a couple of years. Alma McCarty, KGW News.